in the blue of the night meets the gold of the day. Someone waits for me. This is Ken Carpenter welcoming you to Philco Radio Time, produced and transcribed in Hollywood with John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, the Rhythm Airs, and Bing's guest, Claudette Colbert. He, Claudette Colbert, what do you know? Ladies and gentlemen, during the coming month of May, many important personages will be celebrating their birthdays. Among others, Happy Birthday will be sung to the Dowager Queen Mary, Irving Berlin, Jim Farley, Elsa Maxwell, Pete Smith, and Bing Crosby. How'd I get in there? Oh, they make you say these things. I don't well, you know... know. How'd you know it was my birthday coming up so soon? Oh, that's easy. Your brother Everett was over this afternoon taking up a collection to buy a bathrobe. <laughs> what size bathrobe? 54. That's Everett's size, all right. <laughs> I want to thank each and every one of you who kicked in so generously toward a bathrobe for Everett. <laughs> so just work on some slippers for me or something and an old pipe, hmm? You know, Bing, it'll soon be Al Jolson's birthday, too. Jolie? Was he born in May? Yeah, May 32nd. May 32nd. <laughs> That's a day that occurs only once every 500 years. <laughs> well, then, Jolson is about due, yes, and I'm about due to sing the Rhythm Airs and John Scott are ready. We shall hit everybody with the Thousand Island song from the Broadway show, Angel in the Wings. i to catch that in about three weeks, too, if we can get ducats. <laughs> look and look and always look at Buff Lawrence. Holler and yell and call and scream at Buff Lawrence. Facing north, turning south, where's the east, which is west? So confusing, still we know she's the best. I left the one I love on one of those thousand islands. But unfortunately, I can't remember which one. So I roll, 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 roll up. The river St. Lawrence, and I'm hollering, Florence, oh, where can you be? I wouldn't be so lost up here on the Thousand Island. <laughs> if we only had met on the Isle of Capri. <laughs> Now I just can't find the place she marked on the post. Time call the Navy and Coast Guard. Oh, where can you be? I mustn't take a nap. I gotta watch the map. That was Island 793. From shore to shore, knock on every door. How many thousand islands can there be? Sounds like Mercer in here. I better find you soon, cause I see a thousand rowboats. And the fellas inside look mighty lonesome to me. Oh, when they roll, roll, roll up the river St. Lawrence, they all holler and Florence. Oh, where can you be? Cause I see a thousand rowboats And the fellas inside look mighty lonesome to me oh, When they row, 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 row up the river St. Lawrence They're all hollering, Florence Oh, where 
where can you be? Fluffy! Can you be? Very good singing with the mare. Jumped a little, I like said. Yes, mm. that's what I'd call a real musical salad with Thousand Island dressing. I'm a rope foot man myself. I used to go for Russian dressing until Winchell tipped me off. Good. <laughs> Say, Bing, speaking of islands, you remember all those desert island contests the college boys held years ago? Oh, yeah, to choose the movie actress they'd like to be stranded <laughs> with. That's right. <laughs> Who'd you used to vote for, Bing? I'm not going to tell you. Date me. <laughs> Secretly, it was Nita yeah. Naldi. Pretty the bear, something Nita like that. Nita Naldi. How do you vote today? Well, that's easy, Ken. If I had to be cast on a desert isle today, I'd want my good old Philco portable with me. Well, uh, why not a Philco table model? No tables on desert isles. Oh, that's right. Then um, how about a big, beautiful Philco console model? Too bulky to swim with. Besides, where could you plug uh, in the console? Oh, it's very simple. Just attach it to an electric eel and you're in business. Isn't that nice? Tell us more about electric eels, Daddy. Come on. Well, Bing, I'm not too familiar with electric eels, but those Philco engineers do think of everything, and you got the whole works with Philco's new 1286. This great new console really sings to you. Listen to its glorious golden tone at your Philco dealer now. Man, that's quality in a radio phonograph. Glamorous mahogany cabinet to match with loads of record storing space, plus FM, shortwave, and Philco's automatic record changer. And that's a real smoothie, too. Plays up to 12 records at a clip. Slick, quick, and quiet. For luxury listening at a price that won't bust your budget, see, hear, and compare Philco's Great 1286. It's a sensational value from the world's largest radio manufacturer, Philco, famous for quality the world over. Here is Friendly Mountains from a picture out soon entitled Emperor Waltz. Although the locale of this Technicolor Triumph is the Tyrolean Alps, we found some very flashy scenery right up in the Canadian Rockies around Jasper Park. Those familiar with this snow-capped region will see Mount Edith Cavell, the Columbia Ice Fields, and Crosby in alpine pedal pushers with a feather in his hat. Gee, all that music, too. A big bargain, my friend. If you feel a song, then let the song begin, and you'll find the friendly mountains joining in, joining in. Loosen up your pipes, and brother, you can bet it's as pretty as a barber shop quartet. Quartet, quartet, quartet. Say you take the lead, and you think you're all alone. But you find you've got a tenor, bass, and baritone. Tenor, bass, baritone. Back in a little hand. You can raise your voice and sing out hip hooray, but it always comes back. Holy, holy, he. Holy, 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 he. Give the birds a break and hustle up a song and let the friendly mountain sing along.
Since early morning, we've had our mop and bucket brigade scampering around the studio, getting everything scrubbed and shiny in anticipation of the arrival of tonight's guest. Not often that we get into such a tizzy, but when Plotted Colbert comes to visit, we feel that we should look our apple pie best. Welcome to recently renovated Toco Radio Time, Claudette. Thank you, Greg. Claudette, don't you think it's pretty nice for us to sort of clean up the studio just for you? Yes, there was being, but I think you should have warned me. Warned you? Well, if I'd known I was coming down here to swing a mop, you know, I'd have worn some old clothes. <laughs> You just got here for the finish. Most of the heavy work was done before you arrived. Well, I know. I got here in time to move the piano all alone. Hmm, yes. Well, you did draw the short straw, you know. <laughs> Nobody forced you into the drawing. Bing, when you held out those straws, you gave everybody to understand there was a malted milk on the other end. <laughs> oh, no, you misunderstood. The malted milk was the prize for the best worker. You should have seen this place before you got here, Claudette. Why, that corner over there was all cluttered up with fish and tackle, hip boots, and an old batting cage that used to belong to the Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> well, at least you piled it neatly. Oh, no, not there, Claudette. You're looking at John Scott Trotter. <laughs> oh, uh, well, he's piled neatly. <laughs> John always looks neat. He's like a well-kept mountain. Uh, That boy is really ship shape. He certainly has. <laughs> <laughs> we Mary, huh? Before we go any further, Claudette, I want to tell you that I saw you in Sleep, My Love. It was a good picture. You were prettier than Don Amici. Oh, well, it's sweet of you to say so, babe. I Bing. thought you were. I saw you in Rotorio, and you were prettier than Amici, too. I don't know. What a smile he's got with those beautiful, long, white teeth. Oh, John hasn't got long teeth, Bing. He's just got short gums. <laughs> well, I, I'll say one thing, Claudette. I think all of us in pictures are pretty lucky to have hit them during the halcyon days. What do you mean? Well, originally, a theater was just a place to go and see a picture. Nowadays, movies are just decoys for candy stores. See? <laughs> You're right. I can remember when I was a kid, the only place in the theater to get chewing gum was under the seat. Yeah. All broken in and ready to go, too. <laughs> well, well, nowadays, when you go into a theater, you have to fight your way through an army of people selling everything from popcorn to hamburgers. That's right. If this keeps building, the movie theater tomorrow will look like the Rexel drugstore of today. <laughs> Honestly, if this selling avalanche doesn't stop soon, the time is bound to come when a husband and wife will really be perplexed when they read the movie page. I tell you what, Claudette, you be a wife, I'll be your husband sitting in the parlor after dinner one evening in the year 1955. Okay, Bing, we're sitting in the parlor. Say, honey, how about going to a theater tonight? Good idea. I haven't been shopping all week. Well? <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at the movie page. What's playing at the Hawaii? Let's see. Oh, oh the Hawaii has a big sale on pineapple. Mm -hmm. Well, do we need pineapple there? No, not particularly, but I do need some new nylons. I wonder if stockings are playing. <laughs> oh, you can get stockings at any theater now. What's uh, what's at the Fairfax? Uh, Ben Hare Coffee, Ben Rist Watches, and Benny Fields. <laughs> Benny Fields? That's the new real estate development in the valley. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Say, I picked up uh, uh, something over the grapevine at the office today. They tell me they're going to have a big sneak preview at the Westwood Theater tonight. Come to think of it, honey, I can't go to the Westwood. I've got to go to the Bijou. Why the Bijou? I have a dental appointment there. <laughs> I tell you, let's go to the Gem Theater. According to Luella Parsons' shopping guide, the old Nick candy bars are terrific there. Oh, I wouldn't go to the Gem Theater after that awful disaster they had the other night. What disaster? The root beer barrel burst and drowned eight people. <laughs> well, they should have had a lifeguard there. Gosh, Harry, I, 
I don't care to get dressed and go out just to go shopping or to eat. I, I wish there was some place we could go and see a movie. So loud. It's a movie like this. It's tuning the underground radio. Maybe someone somewhere is daring enough to show a picture tonight. Harry, we, we wouldn't dare to tune in the underground radio. Remember, the popcorn trust has spies everywhere. <laughs> Don't I know it? Those beasts, they caught poor, sad Sam Hogan listening in last month. And a firing squad stood him up against a wall. <laughs> the brutes, they riddled his body with unpopped corn. <laughs> well, I don't care. I'm so hungry to see a movie, I'd settle for a Bob Hope picture. <laughs> Where are they? All right, let, let's tune in the underground. Maybe there'll be some news of a movie legger. All right. Are the blinds drawn? Yes. Now, huddle up close to the speaker. We can't take any chances. Let's see. What's the number on the dial? Two left, one right. I always forget. They have to change it every week. Attention, all movie lovers. Attention, all movie lovers. Boy, the heat must really be on tonight, huh? <laughs> According to a dispatch just received... A uh, M-O-V-I-E will be shown in the Los Angeles area tonight. Will all faithful movie lovers now please consult their code books? Where's the code book, honey? I've got it right here. Ready now? The central point is Fifth and Hill. Fifth and Hill? Let me, let, let me see. Here it is. La Brea and Wilshire. Now, proceed, Crindlefleck, for nine planistoles. <laughs> That means go three blocks north and turn to the left. <laughs> Got that? Yes, yes. Turn up alley until you reach door on left, mark the secret sign. Knock five times and ask for Max. Did you get that? Ask for Max. That is all. Good luck. I wonder what picture is playing there. The picture playing tonight is Ask for Max. <laughs> oh, they got me. <laughs> Oh. Darn it, no movie tonight. Oh, no. Well, thank you, Claudette. I certainly hope things never get as bad as we painted them. Now, if you'll stand by, I'd like to have you hear the number one song on the French hit parade. Oh, something from Paris. It's très charmant. Oh, oui. The title, Claudette, is You're Too Dangerous, Sherry. You're too dangerous, Sherry Too dangerous for me I know I can't resist you. You're too beautiful, Sherry. What will become of me? Will I regret I kissed you? You're too glamorous, Sherry. So amorous, Sherry. So thrilling in my arms I know it's foolish To love you so much But I forget To be smart When you touch me My heart tells me to beware you're dangerous, Sherry, but I don't care.
you're too glamorous, Sherry. So amorous, Sherry. So thrilling in my arms. I know it's foolish to love you so much. But I forget to be smart when you touch me. My heart tells me to beware your dangerous fairy. But I don't care. You know, Claudette, uh, there's some French lyrics here on the song sheet. I've got it right in my hand. I really think Cherie should be done in French. How about singing it for us? No, no, you give me that mop again, but no singing. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, B, I just heard the tune. I couldn't sing Well, it. jump in with me. I know the music uh, well, fairly well. <laughs> Not too well. It doesn't sound like I know it. I'll help you through that if you'll steer me through the French. Okay, but boy, this is going to be Le Clambake. Well, Le Clambake or not, <laughs> let's give it a whirl. A little arpeggio, please. Mm. Don't say it. Steady, everybody. Car, je mes bras, elle me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours, et ça me fait quelque chose. Elle est entrée dans mon cœur, je n'ai pas de bonheur, dont je connais la cause. C'est lui comme la moi pour lui dans la vie. Elle me l'a dit, l'a juré pour la vie. Et dès que je l'aperçois, alors je sens en moi mon cœur qui bat. Ah. <laughs> Oh, that was really good, Claudette and Bing. <laughs> you know, Bing, uh, after all, I'm not one to complain, but it seems like everybody on the program is allowed to sing except me. Ken, old boy, you oh. can sing any time you want to. What would you like to sing about? Well, the baseball season's off to a big start now, so I, uh, well, I kind of thought I'd like to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Good idea. Go ahead. Don't get would hurt. Would you uh, join me? Well, I might even drown you out. Some Go right ahead. ahead. <laughs> Vilco's portable radio takes Kenneth wherever he wants to go. When I can't get out to the baseball park, you can hear me remark. I'll be out to the ball game, though I'm not really there. Maybe I'm home at my wife's request, or maybe I'm giving my whiskers a rest, but I'll still be out to the ball game without getting out of my chair. I don't feel cold, portable set, it'll get me there or anywhere. <laughs> Pretty good. Yes, one, two, three, and you're out at the old ball game with Philco's sensational new plastic portable. Tops for travel listening. Take it anywhere to get you all the big games, all the big shows, and the best bands in the land. It's a three-way portable, plays on battery, AC, or DC, and a colorful, lightweight cabinet that's an eye-catcher for sure. Your choice of four smart colors, a fashion flash in ivory, tan, maroon, or blue-green. Ask your Philco dealer now for the new 602 Portable. 
from Philco, the leader. Here's an old tune. It's a show tune, by the way. Enjoying a little comeback. I'm happy to assist, even in my insignificant way, in its return. be wrong, but I think you're wonderful. I may be wrong, but I think you're swell. I like your style. I think you're marvelous I'm always wrong So how can I tell All of my shirts are unsightly All of my ties are a crime if, dear, in you I pick rightly, it's the very first time you came along. And I think you're wonderful. I think you're grand. But I may be wrong I may be wrong But I think you're wonderful I may be wrong But I think you're swell I like your style I think you're marvelous, I'm always wrong, so how can I tell? All of my shirts are unsightly, all of my ties are a crime, if dear in you I pick rightly, it's the very first time. You're wonderful. I think you're grand. But I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but I have a hunch that program is almost over, too. Does that mean we can go now, Bing, or do we have to stick around and sweep the stage? No, no. Gordon McRae and his gang are going to clean up, Claudette. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for offering to help. You're very sweet. And thanks for coming down. Oh, it was wonderful, Bing. Who's your guest next week? Next week, Claudette, the mighty Barry Fitzgerald pays us a visit. Oh, he's so wonderful. That's what everybody says all the time. <laughs> well, bonsoir, Claudette. Bonsoir, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you again. For uh, the Lautner for coming down, Claudette. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> You're supposed to say goodbye. I'm supposed to say good night, V. Good night, Claudette. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> Bonsoir. <laughs> Je suis très heureux. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Los Angeles Police Relief Association. <laughs> My bridge is bothering me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Los Angeles Police Relief Association. <laughs> Once again is presenting its annual show at the Shrine Auditorium. The funds derived from this show are expended for recreational facilities for children, sponsoring boy and girl scout activities, and assist the officer and his family in time of distress. The police are always on hand for your benefit. Won't you be on hand to benefit the police? 
They have a wonderful show. They've had a great show every year, and I think you all should go down there and give yourselves a treat. Good night, folks, and thanks very much. Transcribed in Hollywood by Bill Morrow and Murdo McKenzie. Tune in to Philco Radio Time next week and hear Bing Crosby.